Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. This is our Goldcrest Valley map and I was, when I turned the game on, I forgot that I had turned on my Razer Surround Virtual Audio system that, uh, I don't know how I got it, I bought a Razer mouse once and that showed up, but uh, I, I turned that on when I'm playing games on my own, it puts quite a deep rumble out the... Uh, uh, all the speakers, and I've got a woofer down on the floor, and, and uh, that's kind of fun. But it's still on right now. I'm curious whether or not it comes through into this video. I don't know if it's just for playback or if it uh, affects recording. When I'm playing this game, I've got the sound cranked up. I don't know if it's going to come through right now, but I get a real deep rumble. I'll be curious to see how that comes out. I'm going to take the volume down to a level to where I know you can hear my voice. But that was fun. I just had to do that. Um, we had a poll last time, and I learned some things about YouTube polls. It's almost like they are designed for the kind of channels that only record once a week. Because for two days, I didn't get any results. It's two days delayed. And even now, it looks like only four people voted. So I had to actually jump into my video and take the poll myself in order to get the real-time results. And the results are overwhelmingly, everyone wants to jump into the uh, uh, Field 11. And let me do a Dukes of Hazard jump out of here. Woohoo! And um, uh, do some grass and hay and silage and all that great stuff. So let's take a trip on over to Field 11 and talk to uh, Farmer Jenkins over there and see uh, if he still uh, wants to sell us his, his field. I'll get inside where I can drive this thing. Kind of keep it on the road better this way. Anyway, that's too quiet now. I'm going to turn the sound back up. There we go. So we've got to, I guess, put a placeable over there, a shed, so we can park some equipment. Probably move all of our grass and hay-like equipment over there. And it's not too far away to be able to haul it back home again when we do uh, wheat or what have you and need to, to bale some straw. Otherwise, we've got to let this field uh, mature to its harvest point and then uh, harvest this and then replant it in grass. And we've got ourselves a huge grass area. Make uh, all that we need out of it and feed the sheep with it. In fact, that's right, we've got to go clean up the sheep a little bit. We missed that last time. Head over here. Otherwise, we need to buy the other mower deck. There's, there's the sheep. <laughs> there we go. All right, Farmer Jenkins. Yep, got that right. So, 2.2 hectares, he wants $149,000 for it. There are no more missions. It's one stage away from harvesting. So, I guess this is the best chance we're going to get. Almost got the price down as low as we could. Um, Jenkins does not own any other farms. So, there's nothing else that we can work outside of here to, to drop this bar to come back over here to get it at maybe 140000 So that's the best price we're going to get. That's probably the last time we're going to see the 400000 range for a long time. So get a good look at that. It's it's going away now. Buy it. $282,000 left, and this is our farm. Soybeans. Okay. So we know we... Oh, wait a minute. It's soy in our field too, right? Yeah, soy and soy. Interesting. So we can start harvesting this one and then just bring everything over and finish it over here. Don't have to empty it all out to uh, bring a new crop into it. Okay, good. All right, then. That's ours. Let's head over to the sheep and, and clean them up a little bit, check them out, make sure everything's going okay over there. Top off their water if we need to. Um, 
there room for us over there too, or just the tractor? Yeah, we can sneak in over here. That's not a bucket. That's not a bucket. Ah, we gotta, go, gotta go get parts. It probably wouldn't hurt to leave a bucket in a... And, uh, you know, there's parts in different places. They're not that expensive. But the sheep get a little messy. They toss their food out. And I've just turned the game on, so I don't know if it is updated. It tends to take a long time to get to where it'll read animals. Nope, we're here, 36%. Um, zero means completely dirty, so we're on the uh, the dirty end of the scale there. Wool is at 20% of, of a pallet. I don't know what happens if it pallet fills. Does it start filling the next pallet, or does it just die until we move the, uh, uh, the pallet out of the way so we can start forming the next one? Don't know. We'll find that out. So we need some water, and we need to clean this up. Water is there. Um... Let's grab the telehandler, the Malibu, and bring that over and grab the uh, the bucket. We're going to need a hay fork over here as well, a bell spike. Hmm. Yeah, we might just get duplicate parts. And we're on four-wheel drive right now, so it turns real short radius. Wow, really short radius. I think I'm driving the pickup, but I'm not. Let's get that arm up so I can see. Huh, what if we should store our soy in here just to just to do it? And see if it registers with the other. Whoa, there we go. You know, with the as if it was in our own silo. Good experiment there. Yeah, this turns so easy. What was the command to change the steering? Uh, contr left control Y. So left control and Y, front wheel steering. So we'll see uh, the differences there. Yeah, that's a little more natural there. Now, remind me, I've seen it done before, but it's been years, so I don't really remember. Control Y. When would you use crab steering? What, what, what is the point of crab steering? When would you need to drive diagonal? It probably has something to do with the, uh, the furrows. So your wheels... Let me see this from the outside. So you're not putting all the weight in the same spot, but you're spreading it all out. And possibly even the uh, what you're hauling behind you is then stepped out of sync as well, so that you end up with six different uh, pathways instead of putting all the weight into just two pathways. That's a guess. Notice it's not leaving any deep imprints here like the pickup did get into uh, okay you got two two uh, tracks right there now we've still got two real tracks let's go back to front wheel uh, control Y right there let's see if this leaves two deeper tracks now yeah I would say it is deeper than it was Okay, that's a definite track right there. Let's go back to crab again. Right there. Now let's see if that changes. They're there, but they're not as dark as they were. There's probably something to do with what that's all about. Is Yeah, well, that's pretty significant there. Oh well. Let me know in the comments what you think. How does that work? Meanwhile, I'm going to get back to something that I can trust here. Uh, we'll go to front wheel. Okay, let's grab the bucket and go back. It's not a lot to do right now. I'm getting here where I'm a little quiet or 
uh, engine's quieter. Not a lot to do right now until uh, the harvesting happens in both places. So we've got a field, but we can't really do anything with it at the moment. All right, this has got the really big bucket. So, uh, we're in here. Yeah, bring that guy down. See if I can do it from the cab. Not quite the right angle yet. Now, does he go to the inside or the outside? Well, right Q, will it tell me? There we go. Still not close enough. Really cannot tell my depth of field here. There it goes. And he goes to the outside. All right. So I'll get you kind of up in the air so I can see. And I think I fit. I think I fit. I think I fit. <laughs> oh, it's so much easier from the outside. Well, let's head back to the sheep and clean up that area and water them. And then uh, we'll figure out something else to do while we're, while we're waiting. What I could do is just kick time up a little bit so that, uh, well... Now, I'll leave it the way it is. It may harvest or get ready to harvest all on its own. If it doesn't, we'll speed up time till uh, till it happens. Yeah, this definitely has a different sound than the Massey Ferguson. Massey Ferguson had a real deep rumble. This sounds... I don't know, how do you describe this one? A little bit... Uh, beefier than a forklift. Yeah, the steering is quite different. I'm just trying to think of what else we could do this episode, because I don't know what the timing is on that. We could head over to that Field 9, that long skinny one. Do the harvesting over there and get, uh, oh, I think his name was Joshua Allen. A glance over there at nine. Yep, Joshua Allen. Maybe uh, increase his favor a little bit. It's a fairly quick thing to do. It's just four passes. Yeah, that's a possibility. We'll take care of the sheep and see where we stand. We could go get the mower deck too. Get that uh, bot and ready. We'll see. All right, so drop this guy down, and and I need to see that from the outside. There we go. This is what I can't see from from in the cab. All right, let's go clean all this up. And I need to change my DPI. There we go. It's the only game I do that with, so the mic, the, the mouse is never set up for it. All right, I like this big wide one. One pass and it's done. So lift that up. Is that high enough? Yeah. Here's where the all-wheel steering would be good. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I too many buttons for my fingers. Yeah, now now we're turning immediately. Okay, forward a little bit. Get this guy the other way, all back in there, and I don't know if I have to be out of the box or not. Let's see if it's registered yet. It has. That was quick. Great. So I just need a little water, and already our productivity is 100% because we do have food and water. It doesn't have to be full. So we're making wool as fast as we can right now. We were at 18%. Okay, that's just quantity of wool. That's not the rate. So rate probably has to do entirely with, with this right here. Okay, water. So that guy is in all the way. Yeah, water is there. Oh, the, the loud munchers. They already had food, but because I'm here. Yeah, they all came over and while they were there, decided to grab a bite to eat. See if I can see that hitch. There we are. And Q. Gotcha.
That'll do. R? Not R. Okay, how do you fill it? Unload I. Okay. There we go. And they're good. Now, if I can get my, my right left and my left right straight. Let's see if I can back this up the whole way. The bucket's driving me nuts. <laughs> Alright. The way I do it is I just give a little nudge one way or the other and kind of test. And that's not it. There we go. But this all-wheel steering makes it really easy to back up. Even a dolly trailer would be easy with this thing. There we go. And a little further. Make it straight. Just like that. Q. Uh, Q on the back one, not the front one. There we go. Alright, so this guy... I guess just lives over here for now. Um, our bell spike's kind of in the way over there, though. So we'll drop it in over here. See if there's room there. There we go. We're on the ground? I don't know. I can't tell. I'm bouncing all over. There I am. There. All right. So these guys are taken care of. Let's go look at the uh, the wool. Let's see what 20... Whoa! Yeah, I had it in my mind that I had four-wheel steering. I turned the steering wheel and nothing happened. Okay, wool. What does 20% look like? Ooh! I think it it's ready to harvest. Wow, when did that happen? That's why I didn't want to speed up time. I didn't know what it was actually going to do to us there. Need to have wasted time. So there's 20%. Basically, well, 20% would be one of five. So I guess that's a partial of 25%. One of four. That must be. But what I'm wondering about is when that's filled, I mean, there's room for six of those things in that space. Will it just keep filling? Will it build more pallets? Will it get to 100% and drop back to one again? So that will be curious. We'll let that happen so that we'll know. Anyway, we're ready to harvest something over here, which means we're ready to harvest at home, too. Okay, so I guess this is now a harvesting episode. And it is a drunk driving episode. Let's get inside here where I've got a little more control. Can't switch to all-wheel driving in this thing. <laughs> Wouldn't that feel weird? One of these days, maybe after this series is done though, but I do want to do another farming simulator series when this is done, but sometime in the next month or two I'm going to get moved into a different studio. I've got a lot of delays that I wasn't expecting, but when I do that I'm going to build a new desk, something that's much wider, uh, have the uh, steering wheel set up alongside the keyboard permanently. Right now I've got to choose one or the other, and it, uh, it's too difficult to switch from one game to the next over and over again, tearing out the steering wheel, then remounting it and resetting the controls and if I'm going to do that I may as well record a dozen episodes you know pre-record them and then spit them out while I'm get the uh, keyboard and everything else set up again anyway um, now we'll just park this guy over here fuel is fine got to start keeping an eye on fuel now that we're uh, getting a little further into the game I don't know how much fuel is actually in the harvester Oh, the harvester. That's way over there. I should have driven to that place. All right, well, let's go hook up some trailers then. And I think this would do it, this case. Uh, let's pop into the cab. Let's hook up both of them. Let me think here. We'll do the fixed axle first. And then the uh, dolly behind it. That could be the easiest way to do that. So, this guy, then that guy. Right 
it about there. Okay, out this way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out here to do this one. I cannot see. Luckily, we just have to get close. Okay, you can start swinging back any time now. There you go. Too far? Let's see if it, if it grabs. Ah, I got it. Okay. Now off to the harvester, or the combine. Is there a proper term for them, or is one maybe American and the other British? I've always called these harvesters, but I've noticed that a lot of people play this game call them combines. So I don't know what to think about that. And where to put this? Yeah, we'll just park it here for now. We're set up for, for soy. And I guess we're going this way, because so I can't see through that roof. This one should have gotten all of the layers of fertilizer and plowing the whole works. So we should get the highest production out of this as possible, the highest yield. We will see. We can't make straw out of this, so all we can do is build a shaft out there. do is, is hire this one out. Let's do that now. Oops. <laughs> Get over here where it's quieter. I want to see if it makes that corner. Because I'm seeing canola over there. That is... Are you going to make that turn? You are. Boy, you're turning wide. That, uh, I believe, needs another layer of fertilizer. Right there. Dark blue, but these guys are uh, a lighter blue. So we need to put one more layer in there. So while that's happening, I'm curious. Let me pop back in there and see what one swath does. Okay, we're coming up on 10%. So we'll say at the most 15%. So we've got quite a few paths to make here. Okay. Let's let that hire. Tractor's there to relieve him at about the halfway point in the field. Let's grab another tractor and we can get a cultivator going. Get another tractor and get the uh, uh, fertilizer going. Cultivator. That's the big one. So that's that guy. Okay, so this guy for spraying, actually this did really well for spraying, so let's do this. That's our smallest one. So let's, let's uh, go with the smallest that'll do the job so we've got bigger available for whatever happens later. And that wheelbarrow is back. Interesting, the game insists on putting that wheelbarrow there. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, grab it. You go there. And we want this guy. That was a little late. Try that again. There we go. And we're full. Could use some gas soon, though. So this guy is going to fertilize over here. 
Sunflower. Oh, I was thinking canola. I saw yellow. That's right, we're sunflower over here. How's he doing? He's still got probably at least four more passes over there. Probably not enough time for us to get this field fertilized. We can sure get ready to. Alright, X. Actually, we're going to be closer to here. Yeah. Let's take that up to its highest point. Yeah, something like that. Now, reality, you'd be doing this in a whole different way because you'd be smashing crops with this thing. Probably wouldn't be fertilizing at all. Yeah, it'd be kind of too late. Anyway, let's... Let's get another tractor ready with the, uh, the cultivator. And then we'll empty him out. And that should give us time to get that one fertilized. I'm not seeing a tube out, right? No. No. Okay. Let's run up and grab the cultivator. We don't need to plow. That was the wrong button. Here we go. Now, I've already plowed field 11 back when I was contracting it. I'm curious to see if the map of the game counts it. Wow, what was that? Oh, that was a big bump right there. Um, we want that one. So I'm curious to see if the game's going to count it or if I've still got to plow it all over again. You know, this tree just might be a problem for the, uh, for the plow. It just might. Or for the uh, cultivator. Huh, I can see that being an issue. Let's see if we get that removed real quick. Let's do that too. So we just might get a little bit of forestry in this episode after all. And finally, I'll get to use my chainsaw! <laughs> It's the middle scroll wheel, which is what you use to zoom with. So, constantly, accidentally zooming. So, I'm thinking we'll cut this guy. Uh. <laughs> Only in farming simulator. <laughs> Let's take another one off right up here. Let's see what happens at this point. <laughs> Am I going to have to drive a tractor into that? Come on. Alright, we cut it at an angle like that. Let's cut this one at an angle like... Where can I get my wedge, right? There. real life, that would kick right at me and take me out. There we go. Alright. Pick you up. Send you out this way. And let's run this one. Just a whole bunch. Okay, can I get up there? There we go. Nope. Just want to do this one branch at a time. There we go. That feels like it's kind of defying gravity. Is that enough, though? Let's just take out maybe a couple sections here. I 
think we're almost clear of anywhere the tractor may try to drive. Okay. Can I lift that? I cannot. I cannot lift that either. Ah. I'm trying to zoom up into the air so I can see where I'm at. Don't know if that's going to be in his way or not. I'm thinking about him trying uh, a hired hand trying to turn that thing around, driving all the way out into here. Let's go ahead and cut this guy in half. Okay. Still too heavy. Hmm. Okay. Well, I want to get back out there. That's a stump, right? Yeah. We'll see if it works or not. Now, do we turn him loose yet? Let's, he's going to go a lot faster than the harvester, I have a feeling. So let's go empty the harvester, then we'll turn him on, then we'll get over there and start fertilizing. I was kind of surprised. I was expecting black seed out of there, but that's canola that I was expecting. So soy apparently is a light brown. Okay. So this is the view I'm trying to get when I'm scrolling the chainsaw. I'm trying to back out so I can see a little better. Just out of habit. Park this guy up here. Turn this one on. Higher mount. Oops. All right. They're working. Let's go fertilize this field. I'm pretty sure I can I can hire this one out too, but blocked by an object. I think I was the object, right? Yeah. But uh, we need to do something ourselves. Go to the edge there. Yeah, something like that. And let's see, let's take this cruise control down. Yeah, something like that. And on. There we go. When we get to the end, we'll toggle into the main map and make sure that it's actually... Well, yeah, it's doing something there. You see it uh, going from a, kind of a gray-brown to a darker brown. So it's registering. Now the hard part, being able to see where you've been, we're definitely going to do some overlap. It's a fine line when it all looks the same color, being able to be consistent and not miss anything. You get a little of the, uh, the horizon in view. So it isn't quite so uh, dizzying up here. Otherwise, 
I can give you vertigo. Okay, there's the edge I'm shooting for. Right there. Yeah, I think I did it. That makes it easier. At least if I'm in the right spot, I can follow that row. And I think I'm in the right spot, so let's follow that row. Oh, yeah. The uh, sunflowers will move throughout the day as the sun moves, just like in real life. So that's something they programmed in. They'll, uh, at night they'll be looking a different direction. Kind of fun. There is no way from in cab that I can make this turn and have any confidence that I'm in the right spot. Not without a lot of practice. I'm thinking practice of just counting the seconds all long before I make a hard turn. Alright, something like that. I think he's got enough tank to finish off that field. How's the cultivator doing? He's already a quarter of the way done. How are we doing? Yeah, right on that edge. I think we're okay though. We'll drift in a half a row right there. Now there's no, the spacing works out so that you can overlap a little bit. So we don't have to be right in that edge perfectly. About there. Yeah. So we'll drift in a row. Yeah, it's probably good right about there. And we'll just run that one. Much quieter in here. the first game that I ever played, at least the 2013 version, that had working mirrors. And later I found that also in uh, Euro Trucker 2 and, and American Trucker after that, but I think that is so cool that the game can, can flip a camera backwards and calculate all that's happening back there in mirror image. It's amazing to me. we'd make that or not. Just bite. Let me go ahead and straddle that a little bit. Tell you what, I'll run this edge over here. We'll come back and catch that little spot that we missed. Well, it's hard to, hard to do that. When you make a correction, it's delayed by quite a ways as the rest of the tractor has to move into that position. I got two spots that I missed back there. We may be missing a strip in here, I don't know. Apparently there isn't as much grace as I thought there was. Uh, I still have more than half a tank. Okay. Let's run back. Through the tree. Where was that spot? It's kind of about here. Well, that looks good. That 
looks, yeah, no, it could have been right there. Yeah, right in there. Otherwise, we'll just kind of catch the end of this area. Call it done. Remember how wide it was. All right. Now the harvester ought to be just about there. Yeah, last pass. And I see there's a little bit of, of uh, well, it's gone now. The cultivator just drove over a little patch that was missed. All right, so this guy, I guess we'll park here. Cultivators, or, uh, Combine's gonna make one more pass. Okay. So we'll let him make his one pass, and then we will drive it over here and dump it. But I need to park this guy somewhere else. Uh, where to? I guess over here for the moment. He's almost done. And you just finished. Seven hundred and twenty dollars in wages. Out there? out there. Okay. Whoa. Ducked my head. Let's go pull this guy out of here. Okay. Dumped off the last little bit. Fire him up. Lower that back down. Let's catch these last couple. like the cultivators got plenty of room over there. Get it in there. There we go. <laughs> that was looking kind of odd. It would be nice to get up to the front a little bit. There we go. Just as we run out. Oh, puts that away. And this guy hits up to field 11 next. Just get this aimed in that general direction. And let's get the fertilizing done over here. Yeah, something like that. Seemed like, was it just last episode we were doing this? 
I think it was. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It was the one before. Last time we drove around and looked at the three options for the pole. That's right. Boy, seven miles an hour feels so slow. Now, what if we were to do this? Kind of like doing the uh, um, the contract jobs. That's the way I do it. Then I'd go back and touch up the corners if I needed to. Let's give that a try. Basically, I have to make the turn when I'm the same distance as the tractor to the edge of the field. Take some timing there, right about there. Now it's still too late. I have to go back and touch those up. I'm going to turn earlier next time. The concentric circles, or whatever you call a, a rounded cornered square. <laughs> I don't know. Rounded cornered rectangle. It looks like I'm missing the edge there a little bit. Yeah, that'll have to be good enough. There. And about now. Yep. And then when we get to our first pass, we'll just turn short and start creating the next cycle. Now, you probably wouldn't do that with a crop that is planted in rows, but this is wheat, and it's really random. Oops. Try that again. I'm talking and not driving. It would have turned about here. All right. Yeah, close enough. Okay, back to cruise control. There we go. Of course, the only way I can really do this is if I'm looking straight down. So hopefully it's not making you guys uh, dizzy. We we'll get the horizon in a little bit. Just checking the difference between the gray-brown and the dark brown. Now, where's our turn over here? This second pass is always hard to do, especially when we uh, uh, got so so much growth on the, the crop. can't really tell from this angle where the uh, ground is going to change. There's the change there. So if I do it a little bit late each time, then I'm actually making sure to cover the outside of that corner. So it's, it would actually work better. Just like I'm I'm making a mistake for the good. Still plenty of fertilizer, though I have a feeling when we fill this one up, we're going to wipe out that last tank. And we'll be off to go collect some more. Though maybe by then we'll have a different kind of fertilizer that we'll be using. Pick up a different kind of, uh, either a dry fertilizer spreader or... Yeah, I always miss this one. I need to talk in. Okay, turn that off. Back in. And three. There. I don't think we're going to have any quantity of manure anytime soon. So we won't be getting into a manure spreader or a slurry tank sort of sprayer anytime soon. Where's our turn? There it is. Right about there. We'll pull back out again. Like that. Oh, we're here. Okay, back up. Yeah, this is not the more organized way. It's pretty sloppy. Looks like one width in here. Okay. Now, the disadvantage of doing it this way, while it's easy through the bulk of it, you, uh, you do have to go back to all four corners and touch them up. At least we should. What's it actually look like? Uh, 14. We just missed a couple little snips. That edge and that edge. Hmm. I'm going to call that good enough. That's good enough. 
Alright, let's get this guy put away. Cultivator is finishing up here. Top off the tank as much as it'll let us. This next time there'll be a wheelbarrow on the way. Uh, can I back into it or do I need to get the orange tank actually touching? Let's find out. Oh, they took it. Good. Oh, we still have a little left. And the cultivator is finished. This guy does go in here, but he should go in at an angle is the ability to put something else right in front of it. There, and crank it over. Actually a little further, and then go back. Now, where am I at? There we go. Right there. So, what do I want here? B? Yeah. And Q. Are we done with this tractor? I think we are. This guy parks right here. And... So what's the plan now? Got to move those guys to the other field. I'm going to bring this guy back. But I'm thinking we're going to bring those to the other field next time. I think we're going to park this guy and call this one done. Just looking at my clock here, there isn't enough time left to really get into anything. Boy, that is a strange way to leave it. Strange graphic. Let's check out something here. First of all, I'll pull that all the rest the way through. Nope, it's up in the air again. Make sure it really finished. And... What do we want here? It's odd how it doesn't count the edges, which may be what's happening out over here too and there. It's like there's a little barrier or a little border around the whole thing that's not quite part of the field. Anyway, X. We will need this again, I think. I think you've got to cultivate before you can plant grass, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, we'll do it anyway. Otherwise, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. Next time we will get uh, you know, officially into dealing with Field 11. So, yeah, we'll call this one done. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.